Oh, there we go. All right, um, welcome back to Willistoria. Uh, so last time we got a new party member, and uh, we came across this, uh, this like, Colosseum that we really can't do right now. So for the time being, uh, I think I'm going to head back and um, maybe see if we can find some other stuff that we can do. Wait, do I really have to go through this whole place over again? Oh, that's a little unfortunate. I guess I have to attack you. What, seriously? Oh my god, uh... I didn't focus like solely on that enemy first. It's clearly the bigger threat. Alright, there we go. Oh, Ruby got a level up. So this is a one-way ship, so let's just head back. And from that port, maybe we'll see if we can find a different place we can go. Okay, so we've been to the bottom, too. I think that's where we originally came from. We have not been to Solaris. Heat Gulf. <laughs> well, we have a water mage on us, but he doesn't know any water, like, attacks, so I guess we'll go to this one. Solaris sounds like a fire area, too.
Now let's check around here real quick. That's better than what you have. Hmm. I'll get it. Like I said earlier, I can see myself keeping this enemy or this uh, character for quite a while. Oh, uh, someone also wanted me to test something. Let's go to a pub real quick. I want to actually see what Expel Party Member does. I, I'm, I'm just assuming it just removes the party member from your team, but I kind of want to just double check. Yep, that's exactly what it does. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, let me just turn that off real quick so I can do a softer set. There we go. All right, good to test that. Light element uh, skills are useful against ghost monsters. So we're gonna fight ghosts here? I'm Candel, I'm a priest. Oh! We need a priest for something. Cool. God, I really need someone who, who like, is a tank or does, like, all-out offense, because I have, like, I have, like, a tank, I have, like, a status ailment party member, a monk, and, like, a priest now. <laughs> Preset advocates the Righteous Pass, has a Fandy to Light and Thunder element. Oh, she has Thunder abilities, though. Where are they? <laughs> Do I have to teach him to her? Okay. I'm from the Imperial Troop. We get deployment to various uh, parts of the world to provide assistance, especially against monsters. What's this building right here? Be sure to train yourself at ma uh, and maximize God's gift to in us. Do we have to beat monsters even at my age? Hey Chrissy, uh, Chrisley. Hey Kendell, I'm still practicing my healing skills. You know her? Okay. Sometimes I just want to quit, uh, want a quiet and peaceful life. Well, only sometimes. As in us, do we really maximize it to the full, um, to the fullest of our roles? Conscious members can gain EXP. Oh, okay, thank you for telling me that. <laughs> that is a question I like to answer every time I play one of these games one way or another. How do I get out of here? Okay, good. All right, let's see what kind of dungeon we have on this island. Ardale, okay. A mysterious portal seems to appear at the inn every night. I can feel some weird but faint energy come from the inn every night. Maybe it's just me? Okay, we have an inn. Okay. <laughs> she uses staves as well. Okay, I don't have anything better for you. You look important. I'm a mage from Fair, uh, Fairwand, Magic Institution. You can learn magic spells. I thought you had an affinity for lightning. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, I can only teach them uh, one element. So I gotta find a lightning mage for her. I should save before I do this, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's go ahead. Excuse me. But well, we heard there was a mysterious portal appearing in your inn every night. Would you uh, would you tell us about it? Oh. Yes, the portal just appears every night. <laughs> Thanks. Most travelers just observed it. A few travelers entered it and never came back. I'm not sure why it appears, though. Sounds dangerous. You're fine with this? I'll be fine if you st stay out of it. It's 5G for one night. <laughs> So this is the portal. I'm not protecting you if you guys enter. This is a weird portal. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Oh, I have to do it myself. 
Oh my god, this song. Okay, this isn't from the default RM, it's from like a DLC RM thing. I absolutely love this theme. Where is this place? Okay, so we have a new area. Let's see what kind of monsters we got here. Ghosts, okay. Dispel all positive buffs on all enemies. That's all you got? Okay. You know, for a priest, she doesn't even have a heal spell yet, so... <laughs> uh, confusion, I guess. Oh! Okay, so the enemies here don't seem too bad so far. Nice. Oh, we got that remedy back. Soldier, what are soldiers doing here? Well, these must be the guys who, uh, who, like, came in here and never returned. Okay, this is a boss if I've ever seen one. We have to tamper the Cardinal Sentinel's energy to open mon the monster dimension. So this is the Cardinal Sentinel of Ignorance. Oh, we've heard about these guys. All living things under its power become blind to their surroundings and are ignorant to anything that is happening. Let's converge its energy already. Chief Skele um, Skeledress has warned us that all this energy shifting could interfere with the natural environment, resulting in weird portals and entrances appearing in various places. We have to watch out for any impending danger. And that's probably why the, play uh, the portal appears in the inn every night. Why is all this monster energy needed anyway? The monster dimension provides an infinite source of monster energy to operate our technologies, our systems, and even our experiments. It's necessary to assist our role in global defense. It's so much trouble to set up. How's it worth it? Hope it's worth it. Let's return to our base now. Someone has been watching us. You are the Imperial troops, aren't you? Isn't the monster dimension a dangerous risk to our world? Many people will get intoxicated and lose their sanity. We shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't even be here. You need to be eliminated. We used the Cardinal Sentinel of Ignorance to fight you, but we need to converge its uh, energy now. We're summoning our monsters. Oh, dang. Okay, this is interesting. Um, Quetzalcoatl. Alright. I don't think that's what a Quetzalcoatl is, but okay. <laughs> Oh my god, you can poison. Whoa, that's strong! Okay, we might not be ready for this either. And you go first. Oh, I like it that you don't have to defeat the boss in order to see what it looks, uh, what its health looks like. That hits everyone. No, oh, that doesn't. That lowers agility. We might not be able to do this, either. Yes. 
this thing do? Okay. I feel like if we get lucky and it just attacks characters that have a lot of health... Maybe you're susceptible to confuse? Let's try it anyway. Yeah, you really can't do anything aside from just attack. God, why does that do damage? Like, let alone that much damage. And it doesn't look like you're susceptible to that. Alright. Oh, and you can die from slip damage in this game. Okay. That is also good to know. Man, that even does a lot of damage to you. That... do I want to use one of these? I have to fight those two guards after this. Let's use a potion instead, because it heals way more. Please attack. Oh, good. Also, I'm starting to notice something kind of weird about this boss. Its attacks aren't finishing me off. Who dares wins? Let's try it. I, I hope there's a way to get those back, by the way. <laughs> I, no I, no I just noticed that I don't think we've ever collected any. I hope these aren't, like, call beads from, like, Secret of Ephemer, where, like, there's only a finite amount or something. Yeah, whatever. If I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna use them early. Because, again, these types of games are difficult at the very start. <laughs> I think we got this. Yeah, is the point of this boss to, like, whittle you down and then finish you off with chip damage? That's kind of unique, actually. It's a little different from, like, how you normally see bosses like this go. Oh, no. I hope I can heal after this. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I kind of like that fight. Regen. Cool. Oh, and we got another cutscene. Okay. The soldiers disappeared. They mentioned about returning to their base. Oh, cool. Okay, I can fix some stuff. Um, I'm going to make a save in a separate file in case I actually have to fight this thing. Anything around the edges? No. I am the Sentinel of Ignorance, one of the five Cardinal Sentinels. All living things under this power become blind to their surroundings and are ignorant to anything that is happening. You do things without per, um, precision or accuracy. Did you see wh uh, where the two soldiers go? The soldiers have controlled my powers. Ugh. Oh, I don't have to fight him. Okay. You people made it back. We're back. Again, the redundant text, like, was that needed? What happened in there? We were in a cave with the Cardinal Sentinel of Ignorance. Ah, why can't I, I seem to recall? A Sentinel of Ignorance. They said it makes people oblivious to what happened around them. I'm glad you guys are safe. The portal has disappeared, and I can sense the energy is dissipating. You guys are the first to make it back alive. We'll get back to rest now. I <laughs> just wasted a bunch of healing items. Okay. Whoops. Did she gain experience from that? No, she did not, because her current experience is, like, way less than we got from that boss. I think it is. Huh, okay. That's a little odd. Unless I'm completely missing something. So is that this area, like, done? Done? How much money did we get? Oh, we got a lot of money from that. Let's see if we can buy some stuff for everyone.
Ooh, yes. Well, honestly, I'm gonna hold off for now. Oh, you don't have a shield yet, though. Or, like, a good shield. Let's get that for you. There we go, that'll help. I'll save up for super expensive stuff once I have a party I feel like I could probably take to endgame. Oh, how much does this cost? Ten. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get some levels on can uh, candle. Is it pronounced candle? Like the wax can like a wax candle? Okay, I thought that said Kindle got to level 10. I'm like, that was a lot of experience. <laughs> well, I I say we're probably done with Solar, uh, Solaris as of right now. I say let's go to Heat Golf then. You know, we have a Water Mage. And if we can get Fire Magic here, I think that might round. Or like a Fire Mage here, that might round out the team pretty nicely. If we do get a fourth party member, what I might do is um, off screen go back to that like magic school and like get put like at least some element on everyone. Also, this place looks cool. Heat Golf is such an isolated continent, it's sweltering hot. Are there really two, like... Oh no, no, this is different. Okay, I was kind of worried this would just be another, like, desert area. Oh my god, so the entire island is just a... It's just a dungeon. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna say that we shouldn't do this right now. Because if we're gonna do a fire area, I kind of want a water spell. Or like a water um, attack for oh you are fast a water attack for um, for Lazarus. These are the same enemies as before. Um, I'm kind of worried what the fairy could do. Yeah, it looks like you can put status ailments on me. That's a problem. I need to get better skills on Candle if I'm going to use her. Oh, Lazarus leveled up. I just want to see if there's anything over here. Oh, there's a chest. Alright. Six potions. That's fine for now. Whoa, I... These are some weird monsters. 
Beep. <laughs> Head snake. These are not from the RTP. What are these enemies from? They look super interesting. Like, those are very dynamic poses. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, though, these are like enemies that are clearly meant to be seen from like the front sprite. Like, not the side view. Oh, they, they're kind of strong, too. Um, wow, I kind of wonder what these monsters are from now. you to kill this thing. Oh, I made the wrong choice to heal Rubia here. Yeah, okay, that was a mistake. Um, let's use one of our potions. That heals way more anyway. Berserk? Oh, you put that on yourself. Okay. Oh my god, get out of here! Ugh, how annoying! You have no health, dude. There we go. Wow. <laughs> like, wait until the end of the battle for the poison to go away, because I know it does. There we go, okay. Stimulus, okay. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. One step? Really? I, I kind of like how morbid that monster is. That is an interesting looking monster. <laughs> You know, I can tell that all of these assets aren't from the same plate. Was that, was that a bird with, like, skulls for wings? That looked super cool. <laughs> God, I can, I can kind of tell the enemies in this game are kind of a hodgepodge from a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different, um, sources. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I just kind of wish I knew where some of them were from, because some of them look super cool to me. go now. Hmm. Yeah, we're at about a half hour. I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna leave it off here, and then off screen I'll go back to that magic place and like get an elemental spell for everyone. And then next time, I guess I'll just continue exploring the world, I guess. I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.